my my background mostly not just being the pro roseland and run all the events and things it was to develop kids and adults and teach programs so i kind of wanted to be out do my own thing and uh, i looked at other ventures but when this one when i see that uh, diane and heather mckenzie harold's daughter and granddaughter were interested in getting out and selling it they put it on the market i jumped right on it because not only am i lasalle um it's a it, like you said earlier when you drove in it's a hidden gem here it's a, you know it's a neat driveway to drive in it's just a classic old spot that's been here since before i was born and in the mid 70s and joy mcavoy used to teach a lot here uh, after she you know she was under nick panasek when she became professional she did a lot of work here and and uh, lately i've been seeing audrey bendick akins hitting balls a lot she actually taught uh, a lesson uh, or helped a girl whatever she's doing yesterday uh the mother of Murray in in the pro shop a girl that works for us was kind of interesting so fellow teacher uh, which was neat to see and then Panny Bob Panasek's always out here teaching now his best friend was Harold uh, they've traveled all over and played events together and uh, even back in the late I guess it'd be early 90s I, I came and took lessons here from Harold and people in the golf community know about it but you're getting now you're getting a lot of people that because it's an outdoor activity that's safe and we know that other sports are on delay. I, I'm lucky to, you know, to be involved at this time now and take over because it's a perfect opportunity to open it up to the community. The resurgence to golf because of this, uh, you know, we're, we're just like, all the professionals are going, what is going on? And these people are liking it. They're not just doing it because there's nothing else to do. Now they're, they're getting into it. They're asking for equipment. They're wanting to know about, you know, what should I do next? Should I do instruction now? Or where should I go and play? Like I, I, some, some say they, they were in the middle of a, a slow play and they, they didn't feel comfortable. So now we're back to educating that. Go to the small courses, take your time at the ranges and, and understand the rules again. So there's a ton of the stuff that's being taught now my thinking when coming on board and, and purchasing and taking over in june was that i want to develop camps i want to get back into uh, high development for for kids and and try to move in that direction and just to have that uh, kevin corvo actually uh, led me on to that he was friends with the hockey coach rob service and they gave me a call and i i said well guys uh, this is i'm busy and but I, i'll we'll think about it and and then the more I thought about it, I said, I have to make this work. This is, this is incredible. Like I can enhance the facility here technology wise that these young athletes, like they know more about the stuff than me that I can bring on and, and have and, and grow that because that's when I get a year round product of technology where you're like the top tracer, top golf. And that's where I want to move to with adding a building and adding all that so that it does two things. It gives the high level player information on his ball speed and ball contacts and, you know, attack angles and all the good stuff that they love to get better. And then it also gives games for just all these new players that they don't necessarily have to go out and play. They can play games and sit and enjoy and, and be relaxed here. So yeah, it's just a win-win. Lucky, yeah, very good. Yeah, it's exactly where I wanted to go uh, without, it just opened up, you know, and that's, I guess, the way things are supposed to happen, according to a lot of people. For local sports coverage, log on to powerplaysportsvideo.com.